Hey y'all, Data Guy here, back with a, another viewer request video. Uh, this time on how to deploy a cloud-hosted version of Airflow. Um, so today, as some of you might know, I, I work at Astronomer, um, and that is because I truly believe it is the best place to run Apache Airflow. Um, and so what they offer is a way to obviously run a fully managed version of Airflow where you just you know log in, touch some configs, it'll spin up a new uh, cloud version or cloud hosted Airflow environment um, on AWS, GCP, uh, Azure infrastructure, whatever you want. And then once uh, that's spun up, I'll show you, or while that's spinning up actually after I trigger the command, what I'll do is then also show you how you can create a local development environment with Astro as you see in most of my videos that are evolving Airflow, uh, just running a couple commands. And then I'll show you how to deploy that environment and any code uh, packages requirements contained within there. Um, into the cloud host environment we created. Um, so without further ado, let's get into it. Um, so first to get started um, with Astro, uh, you can just go to get started free. Um, and actually let me open this in private so I can use a different email. All right, so now in private, get started free. Um, and then what you can do here is log in with uh, your account. So I can put in, uh, and you can do the old plus trick create a free account um, and then as you can see i've done this a few times um, then you'll be prompted to go sign in so one sec let me just do the sign in loop and i'll cut right back in and so here i have my free trial sign up so i'm just going to call this uh data guy org data guy workspace um, and then say i am running airflow open source airflow in production i'm considering airflow um, bang, bang, bang. And then we can just create an organization. Um, and an organization is just kind of like a company grouping of all your workspaces. Um, and then if I go into my workspace, create a new deployment, um, just call this new Airflow Cloud Environment, right? Um, and you can create a dedicated cluster, but by default, it's going to be just shared infrastructure logically isolated with different VP, uh, VPCs. Um, I'll just use AWS. Celery Executor, One Worker Queue. Uh, you can also do Kubernetes Executor here, um, and you have Advanced. Um, and then this is just you know choosing which version of Airflow, size the scheduler. Uh, if you only want to deploy from CICD, high availability. Um, and then what I can do is down at the bottom is hit Create Deployment. Um, so it's a little block in my body, but you can see it here. And this will spin up a new Airflow environment in the cloud. Um, and so this will take a few minutes to deploy. So while it's doing that, I'm gonna kick it over to my local VS Code environment and show you how you can set up a new environment and then we'll go into deploying it once this is created. So here I am in VS Code. Um, if you wanna install the Astro CLI to actually follow along, just type in brew install Astro. Um, I already have Astro installed, but uh, you, also, you need a homebrew on your Mac, obviously. Um, so here, you know, this is just going to update Astro. It hasn't already been updated and it probably should be because I never update my stuff. Um, you know, let me actually resize this window as well so you can see everything a little bit better. Um, and so here, updated all my outdated formulae. Um, love that word formulae. And then what we'll do is clear this, type in or navigate to a new directory. So desktop, data guy. Video repos, make directory, um, cloud airflow, CD, cloud airflow. Um, and then what we'll do to create a uh, development environment here. So Astro runs on Docker. Um, so everything is designed off a of Docker image. And along with that is all the typical files that you'd have in an airflow directory. So if I type Astro Devinet in this cloud airflow environment, you see I've initialized a new airflow project you can see all these files here and if i go into open this in my vs code environment my desktop cloud airflow amazing and now i have my airflow environment so i have my config files i have my dags uh, example in advanced super complex stuff here then I have any tests I want to run. So when I deploy or if I run Astro Dev Pi test, this will uh, run all these tests on my Airflow environment. My environment file for you know any of your you know, typical Airflow stuff, all your typical Airflow environments. The only thing that is a little bit different is you have this Docker file where this is going to take in your Astro image. So instead of setting your um, 
Airflow version anywhere else. This is where it's going to be pulling this Docker image and installing all your DAGs, anything in your requirements. So like if I wanted to include uh, scikit-learn, right? Within my requirements, it's a Python package, so added here, and it's the equivalent to doing just a pip install. Um, and so if I want to deploy this into my cloud environment now, what I will do is first need to actually sign into my cloud environment. So Astro organization switch. Astro log out. Sorry, actually, I need to log out. Um, Astro dev login. Hmm. So let me fix this. I forgot it. the syntax has changed. It's no longer Astro uh, dev login. It's just Astro login. Um, so here, if I hit enter, um, and if you, I open up the window, one second. So here, um, what this then brings up is a browser-based login. You can also do it with a token. Um, and here I'll just bring in my email I used earlier, my password that I used to sign in with this email. And now I am uh, requesting access to my Astro account. So I am saying, yes, I want the Astro CLI to access my uh, cloud environment. And then I can go off of this. So bring back up my VS Code environment. And you'll see I had that successfully authenticated Astro uh, uh, message come up. So I don't know why I forgot the board for message for a second. So uh, then what I can do is type an Astro deployments list we can see my environment is up so new airflow cloud environment um, and let's see we have so you can see my runtime up dag deploy enabled uh, na or true so let me see if i can make this look a little bit better um let's see maybe do this okay cool so this is really small but at least you can kind of see it where uh now we have DAG deployment enabled, CICD enforcement um, is turned on false. This is only going to deploy my DAGs when I uh, deploy, but I can also do a force deploy to actually deploy everything. And I'll show you how to do that now. Um, so here, what I can do is Astro deploy. Um, and then I'm gonna type in .f so I can get the, so this will actually force deploy uh, onto my one deployment. So if you have multiple deployments, you'll have to actually need to specify the deployment ID or what it'll do is it'll bring up a list of your deployments and say, hey, pick one, two, three, or four. Um, and then that will show up within your cloud environment. Um, and then what I'm gonna actually switch back over to real quick, uh, so I can just show you this before it actually starts deploying, is that right now um, within this Airflow environment, there aren't going to be any DAGs. Um, so when we deploy, it will show up with our exam, uh, advanced and basic DAG uh, within this cloud environment if it deploys successfully. So that will be our measure of success here. Um, so if we go back to VS Code. Um, you can see this is going to take a little while to just to build our Docker image and then actually deploy it into our cloud environment. So I'll let this run and then cut back once it's done. So here, after about three minutes, it will have pushed this uh, into my uh, airflow environment and so what's something that's important to note here is that this is only going to take this long on the first deployment um, subsequent deployments will be like literally 30 seconds the reason this takes so long on the first time is because i have to actually build that first base docker image uh, based on whatever you've installed in this environment um, so if i go to my deployment view now um, i can just copy this and then go into my browser so if i go switch over here um see i am just gonna copy and paste this in here. Um, and then this is going to reload with my example advanced and example uh, DAG basic. And you can see that this is already deployed fully into my environment. Um, and it's really simple process. I think I record it, even though it says it's still deploying, it's already you know fully active, so I can trigger these if I want. So let's actually just, proof is in the pudding, right? Um, trigger some of these. And then if you want to monitor them, um, you know, you can look here, hit get analytics. You'll see these dag runs kind of, I think it's like a 30 second to one minute time delay on the analytics. Uh, but you can see this is going to run uh, in a hosted cloud airflow environment. So if you're looking to get started with your own uh, setup and airflow in the cloud, as maybe that, as that are my one viewer was, highly recommend going through this route. Um, it's really simple, as you can see, uh, super uh, quick setup, 
don't really need any technical knowledge. Um, and yeah, just really hope this helps you out. Um, and that's all I have for y'all today. Uh, if you like this video, please consider tossing me a like and subscribe. It helps me immensely. Uh, but above all else, have a good one. Data guy out.